Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Elizabeth. I make fitness and lifestyle videos with an emphasis in weightlifting. And in this series, I'm going to be taking you through a five day workout split. It's going to be three lower body, two upper body days. And you can make modifications as needed if you want to take out a lower body day, replace it with an upper body day, if you want to you know, do less then by all means. But this is just to give you guidance and give you a little bit of motivation to start a new workout program. So for each day you're going to be starting off with a different compound lift and that is hip thrust, squats, deadlifts, military press, and bench press. And then from there, you'll go into accessory lifts and isolations. First and foremost, make sure your form is perfect or close to perfect. Before adding any weight or doing more reps, you want to make sure you're not injuring yourself, your form looks good, and you can reference my form or other videos on the internet. But I also like the Strong app. It's just strong. It's free for tracking your weights and reps that you do because they also do like a little demonstration. Another free app is Core Circle app. These aren't sponsored. They're just great for tracking and learning how to do the actual exercise. Rule number two, always warm up first. I unfortunately didn't show my warm up in this series, but just know that for lower body day, I do like a lot of dynamic stretching, walking lunges, body, basically take, if you need guidance, just take the workouts that we're gonna do that day and make it a body weight version and execute the body weight version as a warm up. It should be like 10 minutes of warm up. And then as far as the program, in order to see results, once you've gotten the form down, then you wanna make sure that you're pushing yourself close to or to failure. So what this means is I'm gonna be giving you the rep scheme but if you feel like you can do more reps than what I've given you then do more Kate like you want to be pushing yourself more over time push yourself in each exercise I ask myself can I do one more probably because most of the time your brain wants to give up before your body does so your brain is like wow this feels heavy I want to stop but your body can usually do more with that being said though don't ego lift and don't try to just like put numbers on the bar and just for like like it sounds your ego you want to make sure your form is good and it feels good also another form of progressive overload is increasing the weight so like if say 12 reps feels easy then you can add more weight so that 12 reps feels challenging for each in between each exercise you're going to be resting one to three minutes i usually go more on the two to three minute rest timing but it's really up to you and another important rule for this program is make sure you're properly fueled and hydrated you should be drinking enough water you should be eating your protein eating your carbs and fats because they're all good for you and you need that in order to see strength gains we're trying to you know build muscle and with that you need to be eating the appropriate amount a little bit more about this program it is a gym program so if you don't have access to a gym or some of the machines that I'll be using then you can find body weight or dumbbell variations of these I can put in the um, description the full workout that for each day so that you can screenshot save it for later follow along also last couple pointers before we jump in make sure you're wearing flat shoes like converse vans just avoid you want to avoid running shoes because they're too cushiony and you the purpose of the flat shoe is that you're you have better stability and balance i'm just trying to think of all the questions i'll get lastly if you want to do cardio i recommend doing it afterwards or on your off days and this can be anything from walking to jump rope whatever you want to do heart health cardio health is great so you can do that but if you're prioritizing your weightlifting it should be weightlifting first and then your cardio at the end and if you have any other questions please comment below or dm me i try to respond pretty regularly so i want to be available to you and i hope you enjoy the program make sure to subscribe so that you are able to follow along on the rest of the days today is day one okay and we are starting off with deadlifts for day one we're starting off with 
deadlifts, four sets. The first set you're doing 10 reps and then the next set you're gonna add weight and do eight reps. For the third set, you're adding more weight and doing six reps. And then for the fourth set, you're doing more weight but only four reps. And you want each rep to be fairly challenging. So that's why you're adding weight each set because you're going down in reps, if that makes sense. And then going into Bulgarian split squats for three sets of eight reps. Again, you want at least the last few reps to be pretty challenging, but you don't want to compromise your form, but it's very close to failure. Like you probably couldn't do two or three more reps. And then third, we're going into Nordic hamstring curls. So if you don't have access to this, you can also switch it out for another hamstring exercise, like a lying leg curl, um, but we're doing three sets of five reps here. Fourth exercise of the day, a one and a fourth single leg hip thrust. So you're gonna go down for a full rep and then do a fourth of a rep. So just the top portion of the hip thrust and that's considered one rep. We're doing three sets of 12 reps. Finally, to end our lovely leg day, we're doing band seated hip abductions, two sets of 30, 30, 30. So 30 leaning back, 30 sitting upright, and then 30 leaning forward. And that's considered your one set. There's no rest in between. Then after you complete the 90 reps, you're gonna take a rest and get back into it. I hope you enjoyed today's workout and make sure that you go drink your water after this video and let me know what you thought of it. If you have questions, if you need form tips, DM me. Until the next video, see you.